Hey everybody, it is like 8 in the morning, I didn't get much sleep, but we're going to be playing a duel, because I don't know why, <laughs> just doing doing that for some reason. Uh, I, I do want to play Kumba today, I want to try out the new skin, I don't actually own it because it costs like 22,000 gems for me, because I don't have all the items, and to me that is a little bit too much. I'm saving up for the, I, I want the Aerie skin, not the... Because uh, a friend of mine, Dr. Nice, gave me all these gems. But, uh, and, and another nice guy. But, um, I don't want to use my gems on the Kumba skin. But we're going to play Kumba today. We're going to pop a skin booster and just, uh, you just use it, try it out. I, I've tried it once in Arena. It was, it was a lot of fun. So I'm hoping, you know, Kumba might actually do pretty good against Vulcan. Not Anubis, I don't think. Uh, Kumba, Kumba's... <sighs> We banned Hebo this time, even though that actually that actually wasn't that bad fighting he against Hebo. But um I don't know. Oh, there's so many broken gods, you guys. There's so many broken gods. Okay, we're gonna ban I wanna ban Baron. Kumba has a couple of ways to get out of his kit. I I don't know. Uller's banned, Pele's banned. Those are the main ones. Bakasura is not banned, but Kumba is actually pretty good against Bakasura. Like, decently good. Obviously, Bakasura is still broken. <laughs> Just Kumba can kind of do okay. But I don't actually own the skin. Kumba so we're going to pop a booster. Uh, let's see how this goes. This skin is so good. The special... My favorite part about this skin is that the special emote... Oh, it's hilarious. It's so loud. <laughs> Uh, I was I was playing him in the arena and I would just blink on the team, yawn them all, and then just use a special emote. Oh, it's so good. I'm probably gonna do that this game, because why not? We're against Kamazots? Are you telling me I get a good matchup? Are you telling me I get a good matchup? That is nice. I think yeah, if you look at my match history, I've been losing like crazy. This this is the first game I'm doing today because uh yesterday I was streaming and now I was losing a bunch. It's pretty bad. Why'd I get blink? Oh, who cares? <laughs> I maybe should have got Bracer, to be honest. I kind of went, kind of bought it for no, for no reason. I'm a little bit asleep. But look, look at this. That's so loud. <laughs> that is so loud. Oh, I, I really hope we can max the yawn and just stand there while he's mezzed. Because there's no reason to damage him while he's mezzed. You want to keep him mezzed. So I think it'd be pretty hilarious. Okay. Uh... I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with this him doing this passive. Or doing the minis. This game is awesome. Uh, that good clear because Mage is blessing. He's not careful here. He might actually make way too much damage from these archers. Or too much damage from me! Nice! <laughs> Just, just the archer damage. I don't think he expected me to clear so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's Kumba for you. Thank God for Mage's Blessing. Kumba used to be so bad because he could not clear to save his life. Mage's Blessing saved that. They're, they're nerfing slash buffing Mage's Blessing. I don't know. It seems like it's a nerf. Um, in the next patch, and let me just tell you, a lot of Guardians are going to fall. Like, uh, Fafnir's going to fall. Fafnir's going to fall. Kumba's going to fall. Uh, Kuzumbo will be okay, but a lot of the mid, the new mid tiers are kind of involved. I don't know about Geb. I always build Mage's Blessing on Geb, or almost always. I'm not sure. Yeah, but if I could yawn him and just go. <laughs> That'd be so great. Like, comboing him? Because you want to keep the mess, so it's not like it would be a bad thing. It'd be pretty DM at the same time. Um, I, I should have played the archers and just... Let the melees try and follow or something. Messed up a little bit. That's okay. No one there. I actually shouldn't have to fight here. I cannot do that to save my life. <laughs> I'm not that great at the 180s, to be honest. The 180 hits. He has his ult here, so I gotta be a little bit careful. I can bait him though with my 
Oops. Oh, please, please, please. Minions, minions, save me! Minions! Oh my god. <laughs> minions? Oh, I missed it! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's not fine, it's not fine! Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, okay. <laughs> oh god. Remind me to never play Smite in the morning. Alright. <laughs> I feel like that's all the luck I'm gonna get this match, so let's just, uh, let's not push it. This is such a good skin. Hopefully you don't come and take this. Blue buff, very good on most guardians. Kumba especially. Like I've done, a, I've done a full gameplay with Kumba before, right? But it was against Hebo, so to me it's like that's not fair, right? Hebo's insanely busted, so it's kind of like I, because I always ban him, I just simply forgot. We actually did pretty good in that match because the because uh the knock the knock up in the India on the two, so it wasn't that bad. I think he wants to mean my. Unit, if you're dead. <laughs> what he's doing? So he has—he's got a nice strategy going for him. He's waiting until I use my two, and then he leaps. But if I just combo him, you know, can't do anything about that. Like I said when we started this, this is actually this is a good matchup for me. So pretty, pretty good. I don't—I haven't been getting a lot of good matchups. Recently. I've been fighting literally nothing but. Okay, this, these are the gods I've been fighting like crazy. Hebo, Pele, Baron, um... Whoops. Vulcan. Oh man, I fought the same Vulcan like three times yesterday. Oh, it's, it's horrible. Uh, Agni. Poseidon. I'm sure there's more I'm forgetting about, but those gods. Oh, I cannot stand to save my life. I'm here, Sir Kamazots. Oh. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear Copper running around. I decided not to do face cam today just because I literally just woke up. <laughs> yeah, that's a strategy. It's a pretty good strategy. I, mean, uh, I think he's gonna try and save his ult too. I need my ult. Oh, there we go. I think he thought I was going to go in there. There we go. There we go. I want to get my 3 max so bad, you guys. But we get, in duel, you want to max the... I got, you, know, you know what I'm forgetting? I feel like... I, I need to explain what I'm doing. Like, why I'm leveling my 1 and 2. You know, obviously damage. The three is actually good to level up against assassins sometimes, but I don't know. You're right. I do need something stronger. <laughs> so yeah, we're loving the one because it's just clear. It's just easy poke. You can you can do fancy stuff with it. Like you can you can redirect it like this. I've shown this last video. You can redirect the one like that. It's very good to do. Um. I don't know, Koopa's just very fun. His 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 combo is really, really good. It's basically I don't know, against an assassin, I would say it's probably the one into a three, into an ultimate, into a two. However, against Kamazots, I probably wouldn't want to use the two as much after the ult because he can he can immune that with his his dash. So maybe maybe against Kamazots I would do three, two, ult, and then one. But depending on when you use the one, you can sometimes use it twice in a in a quick fight. So it's you know, it's good to know. Look how much I can kill him here. Oh, <laughs> my blink didn't go off. Ah, uh, he might mean this. Okay, no. Cause so so one thing a lot of people don't know. It doesn't look like it. But there is a very, very small period of time. If you use your ult and immediately your two, there's a, there's actually a period of time where they can use ages or they can use beads and get away or leap away. 
Um, so using the two after the ultimate actually isn't always the best. I, okay, against most people, they don't they don't even try because they just think they're dead or uh, it's just too short of a time frame. But against people that know Kumba, they'll be they'll be spamming that Aegis, they'll be spamming that leap or something because they know they'll have a little bit of time. The one if you use the one after the ultimate, it's instant. They can't do anything. Really good to know that camera flick with the one. Otherwise, there's a lot of positions where it's really hard to clear wave or stuff like that. Like there, if I didn't know that, I would have had to walk all the way over here before actually being able to clear it. Does he actually have a minion wave? I don't think, think he does. Let me back. Yeah, I had to double check. Okay. Yeah, but this skin, oh, it's awesome. We're leveling up the three now, which is going to be nice. Something stronger. He's an assassin. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Honestly, he's an assassin. I can I can actually get this. It might actually be good. <clears throat> like I said, going to this matchup. Good matchup for me. Bad matches for Kumba is probably mages, I think. And and some warriors. It's not good against some warriors. Kumba is definitely the strongest against assassins. Like almost all assassins. Kali, Bakasur, he does pretty good. Like, like when I say that he does good against gods, you know, gods like Boxer and Kali, it means that he can actually he can win. But it do does mean that they're still gonna win most of the matchups. Just you know, because Kumba, he's not a he's not a crazy beast. But, like, I mean, he is a crazy beast, but not crazy. Does that make sense? You might mean it here. I don't know. I don't know. That time window when they fall, I wonder if they change that. It actually doesn't seem like there is a time window when I do that. I don't know. Hmm. Spooky stuff. Um, uh, maybe I should be doing damage to this power. Got that buff, nice. Uh, my minions, minions, can you take that tower, please? I would appreciate it. I think I'd get enough gold. You know, actually, I'm gonna get Divine Rune first because he doesn't—he doesn't, he doesn't give me out of his defense all night. Yeah, I'm just gonna get Divine Rune. That way, I can decide what pen item I actually want. For all I know, maybe Flat Pen will be enough. You know? He goes uh, if he goes Shell Guns or something. I don't know. I don't know why we would go Shell Guns, but I don't know. I've seen people do weirder things. I once—I <laughs> fought a Cali once on stream. She was actually the number one Cali or something the previous season but her build was titan's bane like she started tier 2 titan's bane into executioner into uh stone cutting <laughs> and that was that was that was that was the build and yeah just no boots and yeah i think i think she said that she hadn't played smite in a long time so it kind of made sense but yeah do not recommend ever building Titan Spain first item in duel. Executioner maybe, because like at least it gives it attack speed. Alright, here's the okay, we need to get Polly online. Polly's very good on Kumba. The blood weapon will still be deadly in the my hands. There we go. Get some wards. Three loves ahead. We're in a good spot. Doesn't really have much online. Very good. Even if this goes into the late game, I think Kumba takes it. The only thing that would actually worry me for the late game is if he has max cooldown and his two. The, the slow on his two would be it can be pretty scary for fights because he can just auto attack me the entire time. Oh, yeah. So Kumba, Kumba. I don't know. He has a lot of good matchups. A lot of bad matchups. Definitely a lot better than it used to be, but I don't know. Duel stool is duel's going down though, you guys. In my opinion. In my opinion, I think duel's in the worst spot it's been in a long time. Like they, this is probably the best match I've had in the last twenty matches, in terms of just fighting a god that's not busted. Like not not because I'm winning, but just because I'm fighting a god that I can actually deal with. That's probably a bad idea, by the way. So I'm not pulling. I just wanted to come over here, and I have Bancroft, right? And so, the less health I have, in a way, the better. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I could alter the full space scenario, I think. Did it blink? No. I got scared he was gonna steal it, so I ran there. I ran really, really far. <laughs> I got scared he was gonna steal it, so I uh, had to ult there. Oh, I might get killed here, my passive's up. I kinda want him to dive here. Get that sunder. Oh shoot. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Move our yawn. Yes! There we go. Yeah, because I had those two wards, I was able to do that because this, this was his mindset, right? He was like, I'm going to wait for low enough where I can steal it. And I saw him, so I just started running around. So it's like, I'm not gonna let it go low enough so he can steal it. And he's like, all right, I gotta go get wave. Which, you know, makes sense, but that gives me enough time to take it. So, or to win games, even in duel. Worst case scenario, um, he probably could have taken Bull Demon. I don't, I don't know if he could have killed me and taken Bull Demon. It was either take Bull Demon King or kill me. I don't think he could have done both. I don't think so. Oh, we should get the kill on here. Not big enough. My passive's still up, so I'm okay with this. Hang on. I want to do it. Dang it, I missed. I wanted to do the, the, the special effect. Oh, I was not paying attention to that timer at all. I was not paying attention to that timer at all. So I have full Bancroft's passive here, right? So I might be able to kill him. Forget this. Forget this. If you want to dive me with my passive up, you be my guest. If you want to dive me with my passive up, you you be my guest. Let's see if he does it. I blink in like four seconds. <laughs> wait, wait, guys, 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 I'm blink. He's so dead. <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> I think I think that time he, he had the window, the little window. The animation messed up there. Well, I don't even know what happened. Looked like he bounced away. I'm not actually paying that much attention to what really, really happened. Um, here I would go for a red buff, but um, then too many of my minions would die, and also I don't have that much mana, and I don't think I'd be able to take Phoenix if I went for it. So bad idea. Oh, can I even take it anyway? Uh oh. Your team has destroyed a middle yeah, I just want to yawn him in. It's so loud. No one, everyone does it. No, like no one expects how loud it is. Like it can legitimately scare some people. All right, we're, I guess we're gonna get obsidian. I don't know. A lot of guardians don't have good pen items. Like Kumba, you don't want to go auto attack on him. I'm like you could. <laughs> don't get me wrong. You could. You can do whatever you want, but don't recommend. Uh, I should probably just, yeah. Alright, our build's done. We want Power Potion, though. Okay, so yeah, so some things about this matchup. Sunder, do not usually recommend. If you're really far ahead, it actually could be good. Like, if you if you get it, it when you're behind. I'd say that's probably when it's really, really bad idea. Plus, obviously, if you're up against God, you need Aegis against, like Poseidon, or you need, you need Beads, or something, you know. But in this matchup, all I really need to do against Kamazawa is kill him fast. So Sunder works pretty good. Uh, Curse Donk could be good too, because I use it right before he gets to heal on his two. And then I basically get the effect of Sunder, and I apply to my level. So it could, that could be good. Um, just some just some odds on that. Whoops. Ah, oh, you use me! <laughs> I just want it. Let me do it to you, Kamazog. Please. Alright, alright. Alright, here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and 100 and know him. No! <laughs> Whatever. Alright, I did it once. I'm happy. 
I don't care if I didn't get the kill. Or I missed my ult because of it. Um, keep reciting Titan. Whoops. Oh, I almost walked into that. So bad. Alright. Looks like he's going double defense. Good thing I got Obsidian. Good, good start. If they get double defense, then the Obsidian is pretty good. But if they only have one defense, it's like, what else am I supposed to get? I have to go for set pad. Nothing else is good on Guardians. Yeah, usually when you yawn them, you want to keep them sitting there as long as you can. How about ult in 12 seconds? You know, wasting my ult might have been good because he might stay here longer than he should. And I can just end up killing him. Keep resetting Titan, though. Honestly, I'm just waiting for Red Buff to come up as well. That way I have that edge. Because I, I need to get a power potion anyway. Also, it's Phoenix. It's Phoenix is coming up. Should be able to kill it. There we go. That's some good stuff right there. Ooh, he's kind of high health there, my friend. This is not good. Okay, well, <sighs> might not get red buff. I don't know. I don't actually know the timer on it. To be honest. I just have a feeling it's coming up soon. Oh, oh, another thing. Now that he he has anti heal, we can sell bankrupt. I am eight and zero. Are you serious? Oh my god. Yeah, we can get a. Uh, we can sell bankrupt. Oh, he did take it. Look that fast. Uh, we can sell Bancrofts for... I have no idea, actually. Celestial, maybe? maybe. Like, late-game Celestial is not that great, but at the same time, it gives a lot of power and defense. And he has no percent time. Could get a Minion. Could just get more damage, or could just keep it. Like, honestly, the, the power alone for Bancrofts is crazy. Honestly, without Bancroft, it's like, there's, like, Bancroft's the one of those juicy items. It's not many juicy items anymore. Like Soul Reaver's kind of juicy, but not really. Alright, we gotta start focusing with the Titan, because he is not taking damage anymore. Well, he is, but he isn't. Does that make sense? My blink. Oh. Ah! Okay. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Nope. Wait, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. I'm gonna try and yawn him towards the end. Oh, I'm dead. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, you know what? We should. Should I get double defense? How much health does he have? Soul Reaver might be good. What does Soul Reaver scale up to? 2,000 health? The target has over 2,000 health? Give me that. There we go. That'll be good. Gives about the same amount of power. Like when I'm, when I'm about three-fourths health, it gives the same amount of power as Bancroft's. Just, uh, or I think so. Maybe, maybe more. But, um, it'll give me some, some damage, some nice damage. I feel like I need more anti heal, but I already have divine room, you know. We're gonna have to just focus down this Titan. These fights are his Titan are too long. He's sustaining. He's sustaining all of his health. I'll be honest. I had no idea he had bracer this whole time. How long has he had bracer? Has he popped it once? Like my divine room didn't work if I hadn't haven't even noticed he had bracer. Like I said, I'm playing Smite at eight o'clock in the morning. Got like. What, five hours of sleep? Less than five hours of sleep? I don't know. I mean, I tactically woke up at like 7.30. Alright. Well, let's just go get red buff. Oh, he had red buff in that fight too, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, he has his pen now. This, this is not good. I lose the game, I'll be very sad. Because I was goofing around. I wasn't goofy around that bad though. It's not like I threw like yawning him and doing a special emote isn't gonna doesn't matter that much. Yeah, we 
got to So what's giving me a hard time is a CCR on Bulwark. That's lowering my mez so long. CCR is very underrated. Very good. I have an idea though. I think we'll be good. There we go. I was gonna yawn him and then once the yawn ran out, I was gonna ult him. So that's good. Okay. Uh oh, we can't poke down. I mean I have red buff now, right? So my poly will be hurt even more. So that's good. He's really throwing out these abilities, ain't he? That's 205 power? Double defense? Interesting. Both of us suck. <laughs> so much. I tried killing Titan, like like stunning him, like stun locking him, so I could kill Titan. It kind of worked, but I had no minions, so I was taking all of the damage. Like not only was I taking all the damage, but uh, if I left, the Titan was gonna reset. So there's more pressure on it, and I just I just felt like I should run away. It was safer. Like maybe I could have killed Titan, um, but if I didn't kill Titan, he could have gotten my Phoenix. And he's Kamazot, he can he can end very very fast. Like, let's say, if he kills me, like, here, with that minion wave, he, he can win the game. Because he's comes out. To be fair, I think, I think at this point in the game, if I did the same, I think I could end. Even if his phoenix was up. So, you know, we got, we, 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 as the, it's funny, because as the game goes on, we're safer. Okay. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to yawn him. And if he beats, I'm gonna ult him once his beats right now. If he doesn't, I'm gonna ult him once his is uh that com you know whatever comes out. But we're gonna try to go for Titan here. Not like we're not gonna try try to sneak it. But at the same time, if he doesn't, if he's just ignoring me and goes for minions, like dude, don't ignore me. Don't make me do this. Don't do that. Like you can't just ignore me, man. Like I don't want to do this, but oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so like I didn't want a front door, but at the same time, here's the way I see it. If if you can't do that, someone can just clear wave and you would never be able to end the right the quote unquote right way. I only think it's messed up if you're if you basically wait for them to leave the Titan room and then you sneak it. That's backdooring. But when you front door, I think that's just ending, don't you think? Oh my god, what if I get the skin? Okay, but uh, also one thing I wanted to mention, because if any of you got this far in the video, I wanted to say that I do have some codes for this skin. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think it's right for me to use them on myself. I don't know how that whole thing works. This is a very good skin though. So I was kind of thinking of doing a little giveaway. If you, here, here's here's the deal, all right? Because this is a very good skin. If you can win a duel with Kumba Karna and you send me a match ID or you send me a, a uh, print screen of this screen or of this screen and just blur out your opponents. Actually, it doesn't matter because you're just sending it to me. Um, I'll enter you in for the giveaway or if you uh, or if you play if you play him, I want to say two times. So if you, if you play two games and you lose, just screenshot those, send them to me. That's OK, because I don't want you to lose all, all, all the games. But if you if you win one game or you just play two games with him. Don't have six or five, please. That's all I ask. Um, I think that could be fun. Um, I did that uh, last time with a Kepri giveaway. That was a, that was a lot of fun. So yeah, for anyone that actually made it through this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Uh, good luck in the giveaway. It's a very very good skin. Um, I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah, just send me send me it. I forgot to say, send me it over Twitter or on Discord. My Discord is Hatmaster nine eight eight nine, I believe. I think so. Otherwise, I'm in a bunch of servers. You can probably see me on the side. All right. See you guys.